okay, so how do I save this to my database? Well, I don't have a model yet or a database table yet to save the pictures. So let's generate such a, such a thing. Um, so first, a model for my pictures. Let's make a new file um, and save it as picture.php and base this picture on, say, the product for now. Great. Now, this picture has a picture ID, a file name, a description, and no price. I can get the pictures, but it would be nice to get a picture for a product ID. So get for product. With a product ID. So select star from, and now let's uh, start changing all of the different uh, references to product with picture. Picture. So select star from picture where product ID is equal to and then this is where I'm going to state product ID as a placeholder I need to execute the statement with the product ID placeholder as well so I will copy this and point to the product ID variable which is passed good I'm going to fetch all of these so I get all of the different picture records for this product so that's going to be practical because this is a product catalog now let's create i am going to create a picture that has a file name and a description no price a file name a description no price prepare this sql and Again, I'm going to have a file name, a description, and no price. Great. For now, we can also find a picture so let's just imagine that we have a picture ID here. Okay. Update a picture. Setting a file name. And a description. We're not going to change the price, which does not exist. And this would be for a specific picture ID. And again, we would be changing the file name, the description, and no price. Deleting the picture for a specific picture ID. Good. So this looks like a proper uh, picture model uh, without an actual picture table in the database. So in the database, let's build a picture table. create a table, call it picture, with four columns, picture ID, product ID, file name, 
description. That's good. So I have a picture ID, which is going to be my primary key, a product ID, which I forgot about in my model, so I will update it soon, a file name and a description. So the file name has to be, let's just say something like Vardachar 50, which is going to be long enough. And the description can be text. Let's save this. Okay. And using the relation view, I'll just change, I'll just add a constraint picture to product. The column is going to be the product ID in my shopping database to the product table product ID. Save this. And now we have our database table, table with the constraints. So in my model, I'm going to add the product ID, which was integrated here. But when we create, we need to also add this product ID. So let's add this in the field list here. Product ID, file name. And now let's add the product ID, the comma, and put the colon in front of the product ID placeholder. That's good for the insert. For the find, we already have the picture. For the update, I don't want to mess with the foreign key values. Uh, I can delete the picture and upload it again for another product if I mistakenly input this for a certain product. So now our product controller, we would need to call the model picture. and make this a new picture. Now, set the new picture product ID to the product ID, which was passed as a parameter. Get the new picture file name to be equal to the file name generated and the description new picture description to be equal to whatever description was sent in post and now we just call new picture create good so this should have added a picture to our product catalog product oh let's not forget header location product index and let's have a last look at our picture model add this here so now let's give it a try <clears throat> so for instance let's add a picture a milk picture so four liters of milk two percent add this picture so we get redirected to the product catalog let us have a look at our database so we have a record 